Hey, what's up? This is Ian, and we made it to St. Jay. That's St. Jay in the background. You see the moon? Looks super cool. It's right in the little uh, crook there. So we're gonna try to hitchhike home, and uh, we're gonna talk about uh, should you live with your parents. The last video I made, I talked about um, living with my parents out here. Things will get kind of funky. Uh, let's see. What do you see? You see my hand? So, yeah. Should you go back and live with your parents? Uh, my answer is probably not. Um, now, yeah, so let's say you just, you got out of college or you're, you got out of high school, you already lived, already lived away from your parents. But, um, I mean, I mean, uh, um, I got a skateboard in my hand, so it's like pretty hard to uh, hitchhike. So my answer, should you go back and hit to them? Probably not. Oh shit, you know that? Uh, you probably shouldn't. Um, I've done it a bunch of times. I've done it a bunch of times and uh, all I gotta say is every time it's the same thing. What brings me back is never the thing that gets me out of there. What brings me back is well, it's like comfort, it's familiarity, it's like no bills, it's like, it's an escape, and it's nice, like where they live, and, but I don't know, I just, I just can't live with them, you know, like, and maintain any sort of like harmonious uh, relationship whatsoever, you know, it's always like, when you go back there, you're like, under their authority, now this is my experience, oh, you like looking at my hand, or, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's my experience. It might be different. Yours might be different. I just, I guess, depends on what your relationship is like and um, them and you and like, I don't know. Like, okay, my story is this. So, uh, how, how many details are I going to? When I was 18, I graduated high school. I tried to get into one school and then I couldn't get in until like the next semester or something. Uh, anyways, I went to that school for like a year and then I transferred to another school out west. First school was in North Carolina. I transferred out west and uh, that was like, that was better, then I was there for like, um, a, a long time. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get a <laughs> It's getting late. I got two rides here, but I'm expecting I'm probably gonna have to walk home this time. It's 10 miles, so it's gonna be a walk. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so it was like 25, then I, after, after college, I went to, uh, I went to, uh, where did I move to after college? Montana for a year with my girlfriend, and then Oregon with my girlfriend, and then we split up, then I went back to Arizona, and then I went to Santa Fe, I actually lived with my sister for a while, and then... I went back up to Oregon for the summer. I was doing a lot of snowboarding then. And, and then what? And then, I don't know. I, I started, I also started traveling then too. Went to Europe a couple times. And then I went home. And I moved everything I had back home. All my paintings, all my stuff. And so I went home. Why? Uh, I think essentially it's always partly about money. It's uh, not really having a good plan, not really having my stuff together, not really clear on what I want. Um, and it's always something to do with money, you know? Uh, any chance I get a ride home? I'm not a criminal. Um, always about money. So then I went home and I lived with them for like, 
two years or something like that. And hopefully a cop's not gonna go by. There is a cop station around here. Um, let's see. I spent like, so I came back like two years. And then I left, and then I went to Taiwan for like two years, and I was teaching there, living there. Um, or might have been one year. Anyways, and then I came back, and then I lived with them for like six months, and then I went to Korea. I lived in Korea for three and a half years, and I went to China for six months, and then I came back again, and I lived with them that time two years. And now we just came back too. And so this is like the third or fourth time that we've um, this is like the fourth time since I sort of left home that I actually came back here to to live. So you know, one time I don't have it with me, I'll show you. I actually wrote a note to myself one time. Any chance I can get a ride? Uh, probably not. Um, I, what the hell was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Uh, oh, I wrote a note to myself once. Hey, I got a ride, thumbs up. I wrote a note to my, basically telling myself, don't come back here. <laughs> I wrote that note when I was actually living here. And before I came back here this time, I, I definitely read it. And there's just really this kind of debate, like, um, I was in Japan, I was living in Japan. I'd been in Japan for getting close to two years. And you know, the coronavirus things happened. My website just kind of died. And um, I didn't really have a lot of options. It's not totally true though. I, I did have some options. I just didn't commit to them, you know? There were jobs, but here's the thing. I didn't really want them. I didn't really want to do that work. I didn't commit to it because, you know, I had been independent and free for a long time. I hadn't had a job since like 2012. I had been independent. I was like uh, from my website and from, I live in San Francisco from 2013 to 2018 and I was street performing most of that time making some cash uh, like not much money but I didn't make enough to to live on and then um, the website started getting better and then I went to Japan and then my website started kind of going downhill and yeah it's money so it's always money like why you come home so should you come home um Why'd you leave home? Like, keep asking yourself that. It's hard. It's like, it's, uh, it, it's hard because, like, I did kind of want to come home. I did kind of want to see my parents. But then, what I've always told myself, which, but I've never done, every time I say, you don't go back there without money, or you don't go back there without a car. The parents live out, look, this is, where I'm, this is where I'm living, you know? Um, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's 10 miles to the nearest town, which I just came from, uh, about 10 miles. So it's like, and I got a skateboard and I'm walking and I'm hitchhiking. So you're screwed, like, without them. And this, I just get sick of, like, trying to fucking depend on them or ask them to borrow their car. I asked them to borrow their car the other day to go to my friend's house and, like, my mom freaks out because of the stupid fucking coronavirus bullshit. Uh, uh, you don't know where she's been. And I'm, all that crap. And it's just like, man, fuck this. I want to get the fuck out of here. You know, but it's the same thing. I've been back here a month and a half. And there, there's been little shit since I've been back here. It's just like, so here's my message. Just yeah. look, you got to do what you got to do. You're going to do what you're going to do. And like, but what I tell myself, like, I can't really, is what I just said, is like, um, I don't know, you got to put the discipline down on yourself, I think, and just like suck it up and like, 
get that job or do that thing, whatever you have to do to fucking uh, get your independence back. On the other hand, maybe you have a good fucking relationship with your, with your fucking family. And they're not like, I don't know, all manipulative and fucking controlling and shit. Like, uh, I think mine are. Like, they're not always like that, but there's always this undercurrent of fucking, yeah, they're the fucking boss, and you're the fucking, you're like the fucking, yeah, you know, and they're 70, and I'm fucking 45, you know? So the first time I went home, I was probably 27, 28, and I was there for maybe one or two years. I left, and then when I was like 32, I went back for about six months. And then I left, and then when I was like 30, uh, fuck, I don't know, 35, no, probably 36 or so, I went home for a couple of years, and now when I'm 45, I just came home. And it's the same thing. There's always just like issues. It's just like my parents live out in the middle of fucking nowhere. And it's beautiful. I miss it. I miss the fucking nature. I've lived in big cities like for the last since I was probably 20, 20, 20 when? Since I went to Asia. You know, I lived in Tainan, Taichung, Taiwan, Busan, Korea, Changwon, Korea, Shanghai, China. Fukuoka, Japan, and San Francisco. All big cities. They're cool. Like, big cities are cool. There's lots of benefits. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of miss the country. I just got to, like, grow up and get my shit together and fucking, um, you know, just get a job. Get your fucking website to work, you know? My thing. So, for you, I don't know what it is. I just, like, encourage you to fucking... Be more independent and suck up that thing, whatever it is you don't want to do. Or, like, maybe you got a good relationship with them and you can fucking... It's cool, you know? Like, well, then that's great. Then fucking go home, you know? Mine's not that cool. So, anyways, my hand's freezing. And think of the go. This is Ian. Whoa! Sorry, I wasn't quite looking at you, but... Um, I'll talk to you next time, all right?